All right, in this video, we are going to look at some special systems of equations. They are systems of equations without unique solutions. What does that mean? It means that they're not nice numbers. They're not like, you know, x equals 2 and y equals 3, you know. They're just different, and you'll see that in just a moment. So let's get our first um, equation. So we have 6x plus 4y equals 2. And then my second equation, 3x plus 2y equals negative 1. Now, since none of my coefficients are 1, I am going to use elimination. Okay? How about, uh, let's eliminate the x's. Okay? Now, if you notice, if I took 3 times 2, I'll get 6. And I do want that, but I want it to be a negative 6. So I have to take this second equation, and I'm going to multiply it, I'm going to get a different color here, by negative 2. So I'm going to distribute a negative 2 throughout the whole equation. So when I do that, negative 2 times 3x gives you negative 6x. Negative 2 times 2y gives you negative 4y. Negative 2 times negative 1 gives you positive 2. Recopy the first equation just above this. So 6x plus 4y equals 2. Add your equations together. Negative 6x minus 6x plus negative 6x, they cancel out. And look at the y's they cancel out. So I'm left with 0 equals 2 plus 2 is 4. Now, does 0 equal 4? No! This clearly is false. 0 does not equal 4. So this is a no solution. Okay, now we're going to try another one. Let me get a different color here. All right, my original equation is going to be 6x minus 3y equals 15. And I have next equation, negative 8x plus 4y equals negative 20. Alrighty. Well, let's see. I think it might be easier to eliminate the y's. Why? Because they're smaller numbers. So what's the number that both 3 and 4 will go into? Well, 12. So what times 3 gives you 12? 4. So we're going to multiply the top equation by 4. What times 4 gives you 12? 3. We'll multiply the bottom equation by 3. And since they already have opposite signs, we don't have to worry about negatives. So let's see here. So let's multiply our top equation by 4 and our bottom equation by 3. All right, 4 times 6x is 24x. 4 times negative 3y is negative 12y. 4 times 15 is 60. Okay. 
3 times negative 8x is negative 24x. 3 times 4y plus 12y. See, we're getting that same situation. 3 times negative 20 is negative 60. Now, let's add the two equations together. This cancels, cancels, so we have 0, no variables left, equals 60 plus negative 60, 0. Well, 0 does equal 0. That is true. Since this is true, this is infinitely many solutions. All right. Now, do you see the difference? When all the variables cancel and you're left with something false, no solution. When all the variables cancel and you're left with something true, infinitely many solutions. Those are systems of equations without unique solutions. Now you can identify them.